Hello, welcome to Ekene's Premier League Philosophy. This is a podcast where we talk about the Premier League and a, and a lot of different things just to do with football. And this is my guest here, what's your name? Callum, thanks for having me on. No problem. What, what football team do you support? I support Chelsea, sadly. Uh, yeah, it's a, it's a crazy season that you guys are having. What do you think about your, your past season? I just, I can't wait for it to be over, to be honest. It ain't been good enough. I think we've brought too many players. I think we got what we deserved. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. What do you feel about next season? Do you think you would? I think possible. It, it depends on the transfer strategy. If we go and try to sign lots of players, it'll be the same result. Mm. But I think if we go out there, sign what we need, and instead of like quantity, just quality. Yeah. And we get the manager right. We yeah. Push That's a smart ball. strategy, I think. Um. Obviously, um, I support Tottenham Hotspur. Um. I feel we started the season pretty well. But I feel like there was a lot of games that we scraped and easily could have lost if it weren't if it just weren't for having top players up front sometimes. I think a lot of players weren't very consistent, which led to obviously it coming back at the end of the season to haunt us. So I feel like for next season, first year, I feel like we just need a whole new project, you know, to sell a couple of players and just try and build and find a manager that we know that can stay for a couple of years. Because in the recent years, the the longest someone stayed was was Conte. I think that was about one year and three months, or something, uh, or something near that. So yeah, I'm not I'm not sure for that. But um, I've got a question um, for this Premier League season. Would you who was in your team of the season? Who would be in your team of the season? For like, there's a lot of players that are just like on the edge of getting it. But I feel like there's some definite ones you've got to have in like Haaland, Kane. Mm. I'd say Trippier have been amazing at right back. Yeah. Boy and all. I feel like there's a lot of ones up for the bit. Yeah, okay, that's fair enough. I would say mine, um, or I would start with like a four four two position. You know, I'll put um, Robert Sanchez, goalkeeper. I would say right back, Kieran Trippier. You know, he's you've captained the side and really just showed a lot of tenacity, and that really brought them to becoming in the top four so which was a very big milestone for the club so um the left center back i'll put lissando martinez um i put him there because a lot of people there was a lot of doubts before coming into the new season um people um often talked about the physicality of the prem which i feel like uh, he stuck well to the task and defied the odds why man and he's a strong reason why manchester united came from europa league position to a champions league position then uh, sent right centre-back, John Stones as well. He kind of defied some odds because with the appointment of Akanji, 